was, it was something that Sir Winston Churchill said a long time ago. And he said that uh, pessimists see difficulty in opportunity, but optimists see opportunity in difficulty. And right now, the city of Rancho Santa Margarita is, for all intents and purposes, like every other city in the state of California, going through some very difficult times. Um, obviously, the economy has taken its toll out here. Um, we've been hit just as hard as everybody else, in some respects, a little harder. Um, I, uh, when I was mayor last year, we had just had one auto dealership closed. We had two big boxes uh, closed due to corporate, uh, nationwide corporate bankruptcies. And uh, those, those three big retail producers are still vacant, let alone a lot of little small businesses and things that, uh, and other employers that uh, really couldn't, couldn't make it through. Um, but you know, we didn't, we didn't essentially cry over our spilt milk and, and all of a sudden decide, oh my God, we gotta spend a bunch of reserves to, to keep our city running because we've lost all this sales tax. What we decided to do, and I'm gonna give a lot of credit to Neil as well, is, is we really went to work with our city staff and basically we recalibrated our city government. That's why I like to term it. We started digging deep into the city and saying, okay, before we even think about trying to cut any services or cut back on, on anything, where can we really look deeper at the city level within government itself and really cut out what we really don't need to do or what's not absolutely essential? And we did that, and over a period of two budget cycles, uh, last year as well as this year we're in now, we've cut out of city government about one and a half million dollars in costs that we're not missing today. And some of those were costs that a lot of cities would never touch. We canceled our membership in the League of Cities, both the State League as well as the Orange County Division. That's saving us $34,000 in, in dues as well as uh, you know related travel expenses. And so there's those little things that, that add up over time. Only at that point to balance our budget do we say, okay, now do we have any service cuts we, we, we kind of need to do? And how much reserves do we use? Um, I'd really be pleased to say that, that many cities have exhausted anywhere from 30 to 60% of the reserves they had in the last two years. We, we've, we've exhausted less than 10% we hold a reserve ratio to our general fund budget now, it's still running over 70%. And uh, that's just phenomenal in, in this climate now, you know, the way I see it. So we, we took the difficulty and we turned it into an opportunity. And I think what we did was we created a climate now in our city that we can move forward. Um, we've, we've come real close to fixing the structural deficit problem that got created by, by the loss of property values as well as the sales tax. Moving forward now, and instead of worrying about how we're going to operate every day into the future, we can start looking ahead to where are we going to take the city in the next 10 years? Because even though we're in this difficult time now, the economy will recover and we need to move forward as a city. How we do that really depends on who's sitting on the five chairs in that council dais because we are the policy makers and that's why I decided to run again. I think at this point in time, um, I've been on the city council since we incorporated 10 years, um, but we're at a crossroads as a city and, and we're starting our second 10 years and there's some things we want to do. We want to maintain this fiscal discipline that we need to do. We want to make sure that we don't go running off trying to execute political agendas that, that aren't going to be to the benefit of the entire residents. And then one last thing I do want to touch on because I think this is, this is something that's going to be very important not only to the city but to the entire region. As, as Pat had alluded to, we had an issue with property in the county. And we all got together and resolved that. Well, the res resolution of that was that the city has obtained some land on Chiquita Ridge. And as part of the settlement with the county, if we develop any of that land um, for commercial development or whatever, we have to build a 23-acre sports park. 